We're going to record just a tragic story out of Inglewood. A total of five people were shot during a birthday party. Four of them killed, including the birthday girl and her sister. Tonight, police say that this was a targeted ambush. Say their name. Justice for Brianna. Justice for Marisha. A grieving mother dealing with the unbearable loss of not just one, but two daughters slain on the same night. They were just cruel, cruel people. There's two young yeah, ladies. Everybody so wanted like to be to around them. Tiffany Stein says her daughters were two of the four people killed during a birthday party in Inglewood early Sunday morning. 25 year old Marnesha Hamilton was celebrating with her sister, Brianna Steins, who was turning 20. Everybody got along with them. They just, all she wanted to do was celebrate her birthday, and a sister came to be with her. And just beautiful ladies. Police say the shooting happened at a home in the 1300 block of Park Avenue. The property was being used as an unregulated short term rental. Neighbors say they heard about 20 gunshots go off around 1 40 in the morning. First responders found five gunshot victims. Three were pronounced dead at the scene two females, one male. Two other men were taken to a nearby hospital. One of them died on the way there. Our hearts go out to those families, too. But the, what we really say to our community, we have failed our community to continue to allow this type of behavior in it. Inglewood officials say multiple weapons were used, including an assault rifle and handgun. The city's mayor says this is the largest number of victims in a single crime incident since the 90s. It's singular in how calculated this ambush was, and we are committed to bringing the people that committed this crime to justice. This lady lost two kids in a matter of minutes in one night. You know something, say something. And police say the shooting was gang related and are still searching for the suspects tonight. Of course, anyone with any information on this case encouraged to contact the Inglewood Police Department. Reporting live in Inglewood, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. Carlos.